I'll be championing at least two extra le levels of rate, uh, rate valuation on top of where we now are, because where we now are excludes the higher properties almost entirely from an increased rate to reflect the fact that they are highly valued. The worst thing of all for the property uh, um, industry would be an uncertain government, an unstable government, with such weaknesses in it that we would be cast into another election within a year. Well, first, there's a lot of construction uh, potential which isn't being used at the present time. In London, yes, outside London, the southeast, well below what the potential is. So, first of all, I think we need to look at the uh, refurbishment of existing housing, in particular providing more uh, building on brownfield. But don't forget, a lot of brownfield is actually brownfield because although it's been planned for, nobody's actually built on it. And I think that's crucial. I also think there's a lot of public land and probably even more what one might call redundant land. You see these sites all over the country, and I travel all over the country a lot of the time, which could be built on but which because of either planning difficulties or sometimes just nimbyism, somebody just doesn't want to let that land be built on, you, you can't build on it. I've got one other thought which may be a bit extreme. I don't understand why in the face of the terrible crisis in London and one or two other parts of the country, we don't actually look at temporary housing to fill the immediate huge crisis while behind it, coming ahead with planned, programmed, permanent building. In other words, prefabs for the short life.